Hello everyone. Myself, Dr. Madhuran Shinvas, certified dermatologist from India, discussing derma related MCQs, flashcards, and important topics in my YouTube channel. So, if you are new to this, please do subscribe so that you are going to get all uh, latest notifications of the videos which I am going to post. And uh, every day we are looking at a great thought, and today's great thought is that the importance of the mistakes which you are making. Okay, so grantors are going to teach you, tell you what are your weak areas. So what you need to do is you should not get crushed by all your weaknesses, but instead make use of these weaknesses as a stepping stones and try to achieve the success because your weaknesses are the ones which can be converted into your strengths. So identify those by attempting more and more grants. And yes, people will throw stones at you. Don't throw them back, collect them all and build an empire. So this is inspired by uh, from this particular quote. And this is the MCQ, pause this and try to answer. But I will tell the answer for this MCQ is Roshola. So I can understand many of you have thought it as drug eruption. So I have seen many students have answered it as drug eruption. So let us uh, read the question very carefully. Then you will understand why is it not, why are not the other options the answers. So six month old child is brought by mother with rash as shown in the following picture. Okay. So this is a rash uh, which is present right now and she is telling you the history that three days ago. So this is like a, a you know, a, a proper Telugu movie with a, uh, flashback being told. So, three days ago, she took her to the emergency after the girl spiked a fever to 104 Fahrenheit and there was a, also an episode of seizure. Okay, her workup was normal and she was sent home with acetaminophen and fluids. So, by looking at this medication, uh, you are thinking that, okay, fever came, acetaminophen is given, no rash is there, so it is a drug eruption. But please remember, uh, if this uh, particular type of history, that suddenly there is a spike of fever. In a child, if there is a, a fever spike which is happening suddenly and after three days, so this is a flashback. So after three days, this rash is, uh, you know, developed in this child. So whenever you get this kind of a history, always, always remember, very, very important. It is sixth disease or exanthem subitum, which is also called as Rochola infantum, which you need to think about. And I will tell you why is it not a drug eruption? Because if you see the next part of the question, the... Uh, this morning, she developed a rash on her trunk, which her mother believes is spreading to involve the arms and legs. So, in case if it was due to drug eruption, then the rash most likely would have started over the extremities and uh, it would have been more centrifugal in its distribution rather than uh, being over the trunk. So, that is how you can remove this and also if you remember there is an analogy to this question with the chick sign question if you have uh, you know uh, uh, gone through that uh, in the aims previous questions you might have uh, come across this question uh, that there is a person who had fever and joint pains for which uh, uh, some kind of painkiller NSAID was taken and now there is a rash over the nose which is melasma like uh, if you remember that this question also is somewhat looking like that so in the question you might think that the answer is a drug you know fixed drug eruption the melasma uh, like uh, pigmentation but that question also the answer is actually chick sign chick sign it is seen in chicken winner so it is this question is actually analogous to like uh, that question so here despite the drug being mentioned in the question it is not drug eruption it is actually in the children most likely you should think of uh, the viral exanthems okay first thing which you should keep in your mind in children is viral exanthem so and it, this particular history perfectly fits in with the Rochola infantum so why is it not b so let us see other options so in the case of uh, erythema infectiosum there will be a mention of slapped cheek appearance slapped cheek appearance erythema infectiosum so, this is not erythema infectiosum and in the case of measles, uh, just remember measles and rubella, they will have a very, very close, uh, they are very close differentials having similar features. In both of them, their uh, rash is going to start from the face and it is going to spread uh, more and more caudally. So, it is a cephalocaudal uh, distribution in which measles and rubella are going to present and also in the measles, there will be mention of some Enanthem in the form of a coplic spot. So, they, th that is also not mentioned in this question. So, these three ABC options can be ruled out and we are left out with Rochola infantum. 
so here is again uh, the same thing which i have uh, explained you so lack of symptoms during the febrile phase and appearance of eruption as the fever subsides this is very 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 classical for rochelle and phantom which is caused by human herpes virus 6 and this is having other names these other names also you should know it is also called as exanthem subitum or sixth disease and uh, it manifests as a rosy rash on the trunk neck after three days of high fevers this time period is also very very important so after three days of the high fevers if the rash is developed in the child you should always think about rochelle and phantom and of course uh, erythema infectiosum fifth disease parvovirus b1 n and slap chick appearance very very important every point is almost a question and measles which is also called as rubiola macular papular rash begins at the hairline we can say cephalocaudal distribution will be there and of course complex spots uh, are enanthem which will be present over the opposite to the lower uh, second molar and this is so tomorrow's mcq if you know the answer for this leave your answer in the comment section and i hope this video is helpful please please do give uh, this video a big thumbs up and here's links for all my telegram groups instagram uh, all the groups are there in the description check that out and if you want any specific topic to be discussed by me uh, you can also put that in the comment section and uh, thank you so much for watching this video till this point do remember to subscribe so that you are going to get all the latest updates and yes do remember to like this video and you can check out my previous uh, the previous videos here and this is dr madhuran shinva as your dermatologist on youtube uh, signing off thank you so much for watching this video till this point happy learning dermatology survey channel sukuna bondu